Hey everybody, it's Ivy, and today I'm going to show you how I got these super cute baby pink almond nails. So let's get right into the video. Today I'm using some gold nail bits. I got these off Amazon, and I got it really for this one right here. I got this one to clean my cuticles. As you guys know in my last video, I used to soak my nail to clean the cuticle, but this works so much faster and easier, to be honest, and it gets my nails much cleaner. Just make sure to have a light hand. You don't want to, you know, press too hard into your nail bed because it can cause damage and it could like make you bleed even. So make sure you're keeping a light hand and make sure your drill isn't turned up too high but just go around each finger around the cuticle to clean up any dead skin or anything this is just going to give you a really nice clean professional looking application so now we're going to switch over to a different nail bit and i'm just going to go ahead and drill away the shiny layer off the top of my nails make sure you don't drill too much of your nail away you want to be very light-handed this is one of the reasons i started doing my own nails because i got tired of people fouling away my entire nail okay so just be really delicate with your own nails now i'm going to use some dehydrator what this does is just suck up any extra oils on your nails just so whatever you're using can adhere to your nails really good now we're going to go into some primer and this is the maya secret bond and this works so good you guys like my nails last forever like one set can last on my nails like a month literally without doing a fill-in when i use this primer it works so good now we're going to go in with the uv bonder and i'm using this because i'm going to be using poly gel today to do my nails so you just want to do a thin coat of the uv bonder and go ahead and let this cure for 25 seconds it dries really really fast and today we're not going to be using nail tips we're using nail formers so this is going to be a new experience for me i've never used nail formers but i've been watching so many youtube tutorials i was like i want to try those um so you just want to go ahead and stick your finger through the hole right there and you just press it into place really easy to put on not that hard i mean it's really self-explanatory what to do just want to go ahead and fit that on your nail one thing about nail forms they can be really tricky i think this is a step up above my abilities with doing nails but i thought oh, let me just dive into nail forms and try it and practice it now so i get it down packed but oh my god they are the hardest little things to use okay so um we're gonna be using poly gel like i said earlier and i'm using this really nice pink color and you just want to squeeze out a nice pee amount and put that on your nail now you can use a little tool right here to scoop it off but it worked just fine doing it like that and i'm just gonna begin sculpting my bead now what you want to do is blend this bead around your nail very lightly this poly gel stuff is very thick but you don't want to put too much pressure because then it'll move the wrong way but i really like that you're able to work with it because it doesn't dry down um it's just it's very beginner friendly it's awesome but one thing i will have to say please don't use poly gel and nail forms it's the hardest thing ever to use at least it is for me if i was using tips like poly gel would be perfect but for nail forms i honestly suggest using just plain old acrylic i think it'll be easier because with the poly gel it's so thick it moves the nail form around but you know once i got it to stay in place it was really easy to sculpt this poly gel around the cuticle like flawlessly like that's why i'm i'm probably gonna switch over and just start using exclusively poly gels because it works so good and it's so easy it's so easy it's, it's really easy for me to build my apex like I know my nails are gonna be nice and strong. Although I've been hearing a lot of nail technicians say like poly gel isn't for long nails, but I don't wear my nails super long. So I think I can get away with using the poly gel. Just make sure your apex is built up really good so they won't bend or crack. Cause poly gel is softer than acrylic. You wanna make sure you're curing your nails 
for a good minute or two. Now, after about 10 seconds, it starts to burn. So just be aware of that. I don't know why poly gels and hard gels kind of sting, but once they're dry, they're hard as a rock. So go ahead and take your nails out, take off your nail forms, and this is how they should look. I was so pleasantly surprised. And right here, I'm just, you know, um, perfecting my almond shape to my nails just getting them nice and smooth i didn't have to do a whole lot of fouling at all i'm really happy with the poly gel life like i love poly gels i'm definitely going to get more colors and now i'm just smoothing it out i didn't have to do much drilling like on my nails you guys poly gel is so easy i'm sorry i keep saying that but it is so easy um and it just has this really nice crisp clean look to it i love it around the cuticle area was perfect I'm, you guys, I love my nails. And I'm using my little nail bit just to clean it up, make, making sure it's gonna look nice and perfect, okay? You guys, I was so proud of these nails. They were so cute. And once I'm done cleaning up the nail, I'm just gonna go in and buff it. I got this new little tool right here to buff away the powder and all that stuff. So when you go to apply your top coat, you don't have any you know, lumps and bumps or anything in there. And just do a nice thin top coat across your nails and go ahead and cure that for about 60 seconds just to make sure everything is nice and dry. It's better to cure longer than shorter because, oh my gosh, you guys, undry gels are horrible so this right here is the end result and they're so pretty and clean looking beautiful baby pink color you guys i'm getting so into this nail life i hope you are enjoying my nail tutorials i'm definitely going to be doing them often probably like once a week or once every two weeks so if you like my nail videos make sure you thumb it up comment below and subscribe i really hope you guys are enjoying this i love all beauty stuff so hair makeup nails fashion like stay tuned for more because i have more coming and again thanks for watching you guys and i will talk to you next time